getting hot. All right. Hey, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for watching. Quick story for you. I woke up, went to the gym this morning, showered after I worked out, and this has been my hair for the whole day. I did not style my hair today because I am doing a review and testing out a whole new hair styling product. I would have loved to have tried this out in the morning, but this styling product is a dual tool. That's right, dual tool. Two in one hair straightener and hair curler. And the only way to test this really is to straighten half my hair, curl the other half of my hair, and see how that holds up. Obviously, I'm not going to style my hair like that and then wear that throughout the day. So that brings me to this. That's why I have a mess on my head and I looked, uh, I mean, I like this top, this top is cute, but my hair just did not match my outfit for the day because I am sacrificing my looks and my vanity for the greater good of this vlog. That sounded really shallow and vain, didn't mean it like that, but you guys get what I'm saying. Anyway, so yes, I am testing out and reviewing this Medenya ceramic hair curler and hair straightener. So essentially, um, if this works the way I'm hoping it does, this is going to be an, 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 and yes, not a essential, an essential item I'm going to put in my gym bag and keep it there. As someone who works out every day and showers afterwards, I hate spending time in the locker room getting ready. It's always a nut house, and not only that, I hate the amount of stuff I have to take to get ready. So bringing a hair straightener and a hair curler, it's just, it's too much. Like I would rather just kind of either do one or the other or none at all. And I have been opting for none at all. So usually after I work out at the gym, I just throw my hair up into a ponytail or some braids or something and I call it like that for the day. This was a super long explanation of something that didn't need to be this long, but I wanted to give you guys my like quick inside my brain thoughts on like why anyone would want to use this in the first place. Obviously to save space if you are living in a small place and you have limited bathroom space, this would be awesome if it works. Same thing for a gym, traveling, the works. Now, I will say, I've done a couple hair uh, styling tool reviews in the past, both Kaposi, my Kaposi hair straightener, which I love, my Kaposi hair curler, which I love. Remembering to stick it in my gym bag is one thing, but then like switching it out is another thing, and um, I don't, it's just, it becomes too much. Oh my God, I feel like I'm going through menopause. It's so hot right now. <laughs> Enough of that explanation for you. Let's just get right into this. Product features. On the box, there are six of them. One, two, three, four, five, six. So this has uh, an LCD display of um, with a heat range from 180 degrees to 230 degrees Celsius. I have no idea what this converts to in Fahrenheit. I'm assuming that the 230 degrees Celsius is roughly 450 Fahrenheit just because based off of my previous experience, that is typically what the uh, highest setting is on a hair straightener and a hair curler. 60 minute automatic shutdown protection function, which is awesome. So this automatically turns off after an hour. Two in one straightener and curler. Duh. That, yeah, that's like the whole point of this to begin with. Dual voltage, all hair types, portable. I think that's also another duh. Are there, do they make straighteners and curlers that aren't portable? So let's unbox this guy and see what we are working with. Let's see. So it comes with this nice little travel case and it is heat, I don't know what's the word, protectant, resistant, um, inferior on the inside. And then, We have the actual product itself. There are two buttons on the side of this thing. One says C, the other one says S. That's the C, that's the S. It's pushed in and locked in on C, so if I open up the, uh, whatever this thing is called, the mouth of this thing, we get the curling iron. And then if I were to switch it, push it in on S, so S is, locked, it turns into the straightener. And you have an insanely long cord to go with it as well. I could straight up jump rope with this thing. Woo, okay, okay, that means stop. 
time to really get into the business of this video and test this bad boy out. Hold the power button down and it's turning on. Cool. Oh, I like this. Micah Posey does this as well and I really love that. You can see the temperatures going up. And while that's heating up, I am going to section off my hair a little better. And I'm gonna have my left side of my head uh, be the straight side, and then the right side of my head is going to be the curly side. It has been like less than a minute. It's already hit 2.30 Celsius, so it's uh, you know pretty much ready to go. Now I'm a little biased anytime I curl my hair, whether it's with a curler, like a curling iron, like with one of these guys or a curling wand, I always prefer using it as a wand. I like to be able to kind of manipulate my hair around the barrel a little bit better. But for the sake of this review, I'm going to use this the way that it was meant to by clamping my hair in the mouth hole and twisting it up. Alrighty, wish me luck. And I'm starting, like I'm putting my hair down at the bottom of the mouth and then twirling it up the barrel so that way it's distributing the heat evenly throughout my hair so it gets more of an even curl. I mean, I feel like that's hair curling 101, but I didn't learn that until like a year ago, so you never know. <gasps> ah, I did burn my neck! Oh, but the curl was so worth it! Oh, that's such a nice curl. Oh, I like that. Don't burn your neck, but it's, it's, uh, the curl's good. I mean, I only did one, but that was, that's a beautiful curl. Like a little pigtail. <laughs> Let's just keep working my way up my head. Oh, yes. This looks so freaking nice. I'm just staring at my mirror over here. I love the way that these curls are turning out. These are really nice. Okay, the curler works. Now to straighten. Just kidding, I'm gonna do the rest of my head. And for the sake of a short tutorial, I'm just gonna throw on some music, knock this out super, super fast, and then we'll see the end result. So cue the music and cue the quick time lapse. I think this is the curliest I have ever had my hair since I was a little girl. I look like Shirley frickin' Temple. And for those of you guys who are too young to understand who Shirley Temple is, Google her and then you'll be like, oh my god, oh my god, it's Shirley Temple grown up. So, I think the curler works pretty well. Um, <laughs> it works really well. Uh, I will say, that I learned, there was a couple little mishaps that I had, I caught on to pretty quickly when I was curling my hair. If my ends were not, I'm like so nervous about touching this. So I'm going to use this bobby pin. This is like my little teaching stick right here. If my ends were not like clamped right in this uh, part right here of the mouth, um, they would not really hold super tight. It kind of loosens up towards the ends. So the farther up the barrel you go with your ends, and then you start to twist, it's just gonna kind of fall out. So you really wanna make sure that your ends are right up in this guy. And um, like I said, I don't use a curler as a curler normally, I just use it as a wand. So I don't know if that's just a universally known concept or if I just like blew the lid on something and had this like huge realization for me and the rest of the women out there that that is how curling irons work, is you put your hair at the end of the mouth and work it up. But yeah, no, this curling iron works fabulously. I am very impressed and I'm shedding.
Now all that's left to do is test out the straightener. I'm gonna switch this guy over from C to S. Now I'm in straightener mode. Let's try it out. I'm hoping with this, it's gonna be a nice, smooth pull all the way down and it's gonna just, you know, obviously straighten it because that's, that's, duh. Very, oh, oh, that was very smooth, very nice. that this straightener aspect works really really well it's such a smooth glide down my hair it doesn't like feel like it's clamping onto my hair that first strand I did I thought it wasn't really gonna work because the clamp was so loose but you don't need to like have it squeezing your hair in order to work like some other straighteners do so that is really cool I really like that Let's just keep doing the rest of my head. I'm done. <laughs> this, wow, okay. I love the curler, but I love the straightener. My hair feels incredible. It's so soft, it feels so straight. It's got a nice shine to it. It's definitely the kind of quality I am looking for when I straighten my hair. I, I really just like blazed through my straight straightening. It wasn't clamping down super hard on my hair, but it didn't need to because it was doing the job regardless. So great quality and I'm, I'm really impressed. I feel like I'm cheating a little bit on my, my straightener and my curler, but um, now I just kind of get the best of both worlds. So I can leave my straightener and curler at home, stick this in my gym bag, use this whenever I'm going out and traveling, use that whenever I'm home. I, I'm really getting the best of both worlds here. And this in itself is the best of both worlds. Looking good, feeling good. I feel like I'm actually gonna be styling my hair a lot more now rather than just throwing it up. And um, as much as I love braids, because I just learned how to do braids last year, I'm, I'm running out of ways to braid my hair. So, so being able to style my hair again is gonna be super, super nice. Now, I'm gonna throw in one more factor of testing this and I am going to sleep in it. I'm gonna sleep with my hair like this and see what the status of my hair is in the morning because normally when I straighten my hair and I curl it uh, with my Kaposi products, it stays straight, it stays curled. Other products in the past, if I straighten my hair and I sleep in it, the straightening would unstraighten it and it would get like some waves into it and then the curls would obviously loosen and they would it would kind of just it would kind of go back to its original state so again just like some waves i am in for the night with my hair like this and i'm excited to see what it looks like in the morning and then when i wake up in the morning i will give you guys an update on this fabulousness Two-in-one hair model right here. <laughs> Alright guys, see you later. So before I shower, I just want to show you guys what my hair looks like. Uh, this is still pretty straight. Um, it's got a little bit of a wave to it. But the, the like thick frizziness hasn't come back like I've experienced with other straighteners in the past, so that's good. The curls are still 
nice and intact. Obviously they're a lot looser, but they're there. Yeah, so that's a quick little morning update for you guys. I'm gonna shower and wake up and then and I can really close this video out properly. Give me a minute. I'm awake! Okay. Thank God for coffee. Super quick, final thoughts. Um, obviously, I did not use the uh, curler and straightener on my hair this morning because it's for after the gym. That thing is going in my gym bag 100%. So, I Um, I need two hands for this. Um, I did forget to mention that it has a nice Velcro, uh, like, tie thing around it, so when I'm done with it. I can easily wrap up the cord, not around this thing, like I have to do with everything else, but just you know, wrap it up. Now my cord is nice and neat. Love this. So this guy is now going in my gym bag. video with a quick sign off um thank you guys for watching i hope you liked it let me know if you have any questions on it until next time i will see you guys later and take care bye guys